Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Anthony Log. We, we begin with news from that the Integrity Commission is recommending that the Financial Services Commission conducts an audit of Barita Investments Limited to find out if they are operating within the law. This follows concerns about irregularities in the process to give a $50 million loan to a company associated with the Prime Minister. Details were outlined in an Integrity Commission investigative report on the statutory declarations of the Prime Minister. Andrea Chisholm reports. On March 18, 2021, Imperium, a company associated with Prime Minister Andrew Holness, borrowed $50 million from Barita Investments. Three main things were said to be used as collateral for the loan. Roughly 10 million shares in Derrimon Trading Limited, a property and an insurance policy. According to the Integrity Commission, Mr. Holness did not own the shares in Derrimon Trading at the time when he got the $50 million loan on March 18. In fact, the borrowed money was used to buy the shares in Derrimon days later on March 31. As for the property, the Commission said it was not transferred to Imperium until November 2021, months after Barita issued the loan, and so the mortgage against the property was not registered. When asked about the issue, Barita said it was not unusual for premium customers to get that type of discretionary treatment if the risk of default is low. However, if the customer does not pay back the money, the mortgage would be registered. Similarly, the documentation relating to the matter contained errors and was incomplete. And if Imperium defaulted on the loan, Barita would have to change documents to get back the money. In the meantime, the Integrity Commission says it did not see any evidence of the insurance policies used as collateral for the loan, and when asked for it, Barita did not provide it. Based on those findings, the Integrity Commission wants the Financial Services Commission FSC to find out if the practices of Barita are in keeping with the law and the terms and conditions of its licenses. The Integrity Commission suggested an audit, and if there are breaches, sanctions should be imposed on Barita. The $50 million loan from Barita to Imperium was repaid between March 2022 and August 2023 through six separate payments. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.